Hey, so I got these five bottomless coffers right here, but this one looks a little weird. I might as well just open it and see what happened. Wait, what? Well, it looks like I got golden cheese for the very first time. Like any normal person would, I decided to flex my golden cheese on my friends. Wait a second, I just hit 250 pulls on the gacha. So I got a duplicate of her and now she's one star. However, my golden cheese is better than everyone else's because she's level one. Now it's time to use her to tease my friends. I mean to flex on them. Yeah, that's what I meant. So my first friend is XX Starry YouTube. Don't mind the profile picture. We also got Lucky Charm. Yeah, that one. And finally, we have Q. W-E-R-T-Y-U-I-O Okay, I'm not reading all this. So me and my friends have this group chat and things started out pretty normally as you'd expect. So then I proceeded to flex on my friends. I finally got golden cheese and she's so OP. Wow, she's only level 1. Trash. Boo, you suck. Level 1? 16k power. Bruh, my fit can beat yours in an instant. Trash. Typical free to play. Wait, what? Little blood, level 1 golden cheese is so weak my uncle's dog left nut, I mean the toe can beat it. Little did I know these insults right here would lead me to attempting the most difficult level 1 golden cheese challenges. All to prove that she's the strongest golden cheese in the world. Little bro, the only thing she can beat is a pay to win meat. Okay, I shouldn't include that in the video. I can eat her and she would have uh, no flavoring. Wait, what? I thought you were all supposed to be supportive. No, you're an elf free to play. Ah, oh, shut up, I'm better than all of you. Oh, Oh yeah? Prove it. Okay then, I will. Prove it, off-brand Cheerios. Yeah, little free-to-play rat. If you can beat 1730 with her, then maybe I can put some respect on her low life. Okay, fine. Good luck, Chero. Yeesh, I can't believe I'm friends with these people. Oh, I'm gonna get my revenge and they're gonna regret it. Anyways, for the first challenge, I have a little bit of a problem. I could easily beat this level with golden cheese. It's no big deal. In the past, I've beaten this level with only cotton and tartatan. So if I just add golden cheese to the team, it's a Free win. However, your cookies gain XP whenever they beat a story mode level. So if I use golden cheese and win, she's gonna become level 2. What a tragedy. In order to keep her at level 1, I'm gonna cheat. Yes, you heard me right, I'm cheating. First, I'm gonna kill the boss with a team of 5. Next, I'm gonna take a screenshot of the victory screen. Then I decided to do a random guild run so I can get a picture of golden cheese's winning animation. It's time to import these two pictures into my photo editor. First, I cropped the golden cheese image. Then I erase everything around her. And there we have it. A fake victory screen. Unfortunately, this area right here looks a bit off, but hopefully my friends don't notice. Ha, huh, you lose. I won. No way, you must have hacked ugly free to play. Hacker, you secretly got other cookie run YouTubers Hyrule and Drek to help you. Wait, are you telling me that this fake picture actually worked? Oh my god, they actually thought I won? Well then. The moral of the story is, if you can't win, just lie about it. Well then, uh, bet you can't win in an arena match with her and on the other team. Nah man, that's easy. It'll be too easy. Don't make me laugh, chair bro. Shut. I'd like to see you try. It'll be so easy. Then stop yapping and do it, scrub. Fine. So you know how I cheated in the first round? I decided that I'm gonna try to redeem myself. Instead of fighting someone with a really bad arena team and getting it over with, I'm gonna fight a Grandmaster 2. Yes, you heard me right. I'm fighting a Grandmaster 2 with a level 1 golden cheese. I'll use my favorite arena team, except this golden cheese instead of sorbet. Let's see if we can beat up this opponent. Wait a second, this music's no good. An intense battle calls for intense music. I think this rock music I used to use a lot in my old videos is pretty good. Okay, that definitely makes up for the first challenge. That's something you don't see every day. Now it's time to make my friends even more mad. I mean, a uh, flex on them, that's what I meant. Grr. I killed a Grandmaster 2 with a level 1 golden cheese. How? Because I'm better than you. You must have upgraded your golden cheese to level 2 like the other times. No. I kinda have to censor a good portion of this message. But basically, my next challenge is to use my golden cheese against a max out fig. Alright, fine. Also, I should probably not include my next message in the video either. After that, 
that, my friends got pretty mad. I don't think it's my fault, right? Yeah, it's not like I'm teasing them or anything. Okay, fine. I am teasing them. Anyways, it's time for the third challenge. A 1v1 between Golden Cheese and Fig. Unfortunately, I had to level up my Fig to level 75. None of my friends or guild members had them in their defense team, so dang it. I also decided to give my Golden Cheese treasures. Technically, my friends didn't say that I couldn't, right? Anyways, it's time for the duel. Okay, that was a lot easier than I thought. That was too easy. Y'all make the worst challenges. Grr, you use treasures. Wait, you had treasures. Does it look like that I care? Share row, another challenge. Win a game with golden cheese and sea party dungeons. Okay, fine. It's still gonna be easy. Level 10 right now, you pleb. Fine. That's it. I can't put up with these people anymore. This is the last challenge I'm gonna do. This is gonna be so easy. It's sea party's trial grounds. I could just slap server into my team and instantly win. Wait. Oh shoot, wait a second. So the enemies in this level do massive damage to your tank. However, I think Prune Juice's summon will be able to counter this. And would you look at that, my strategy worked perfectly. Wait. Oh shoot, not again. Okay, here's a new plan. I'm gonna use both Prune Juice and Fettuccine. Well, you see, that plan didn't really work either, so... Uh, I'm starting to think this level's impossible with level 1 Golden Cheese. Wait a second. I forgot that inside the trial grounds, your cookies are automatically boosted to level 70. Since I'm not allowed to use a level 1 golden cheese, even though I lost miserably, I have an excuse. All cookies are automatically leveled to 70, so it doesn't count. L Bozo, your cheese is bad, and so are you. L, we won, Chiro man. That's it. I had enough of this nonsense. Nuh uh, we are Sigma, you are Ligma. No, you can't be talking, chicken face. And you too, ripoff cereal brand. Hey, your name is Chiro. Shut, Hyrule face. Girl. After that, things got really unhinged. Anyways, you know what? I've had it with y'all. I hate you all. I'll just flex on my other friends. Well, that was a huge disaster. So then, I decided to flex on a new group of friends. Maybe this time around, they'll actually support my level 1 golden cheese. My first friend is Ratsiv... I don't know how to pronounce this. We also have someone named Coles. Their actual name is Salt, as seen right here, but they're having an identity crisis. Finally, we have the Cookie Run YouTuber Drex, the whale. So anyways, things started out pretty normally, as usual. Hello everyone, so y'all won't believe what happened. What happened, Cheerio? What happened? I just found out that I have to strongest golden cheese in the world and she's level one what the level one only you serious you gotta be joking wait what golden cheese is trash that's dumb she can't even revive wait what oh crap here we go again so you can probably see a pattern by now i guess whenever i try flexing on someone they end up insulting me instead however this time around things are gonna end much much differently i watched some of my old revenge videos and i realized the best way to get revenge on someone is to humiliate them so my plan is to expose my friends for their stupidity in front of all of you all these challenges i've been getting will actually help me get revenge starting with beating a level one abyss with only golden cheese low level living abyss bosses aren't exactly known for being difficult so i should win this one Okay, well, that was a flop, and I guess this challenge is impossible. However, I'm not gonna admit defeat. When I admitted defeat during the Sea Party trial ground, it didn't end well for me. So instead, I'm just gonna screenshot this victory screen right here and send it to my friends. Okay, fine, everybody, here. And it works, just as expected. Okay, fine, that was just once. Grr, no fair. What the flip are you doing here? Wait. Starry? What the heck? When did you get here? I've already dealt with you yesterday. I've come to take you down. Fine, whatever. Beat the first boss of Cookie Alliance and then maybe she's viable. Okay, fine. That's easy. This time around, I wasn't even kidding. I just instantly beat it, so, uh, yeah. These are legitimately the worst challenges. Everyone, why did you make me do this? All of a sudden, Drekt finally appeared. Imagine using a level 1 golden cheese. Well, look at my golden cheese. See, look, Chiro, he's actually good. 5 ascension. 
Yeah. It's so much better than yours. It beat 1730 alone. Aw, oh, shut up. My golden cheese is stronger. She's level one. Let's see her solo 1730 then. You all need to stop yapping. L, me personally. Okay, Lucky Charm, when did you show up all of a sudden? Six minutes of arguing later. Chiro, I bet you can't even use Golden Cheese Level 1 in the Cake Witch Final Boss and Cookie Odyssey. Alright, I'll do it then. Actually, I'm a little scared. The last time I played this level was a really long time ago and it was really difficult. I have to rely on Sorbet Shark to be my main damage dealer. You're also forced to use Dark Cacao, Holly Berry, and Pure Vanilla, so uh-oh. Okay, whatever, let's just kill this thing. Oh, uh, Golden Cheese kind of already died, so, uh, oops. Oh, well, I guess that wasn't so bad. Not even close. She died, technically. She died. So what, scrub? She died. Technically, she died, so you lost. Yeah, whatever. You suck. You're trash. Well, here's a final boss for you. Beat the crab Akamich MK2 boss. Okay, if I win this last challenge, you're all scrubs, then I win. Shut up. Alright, it's time for the final yet most difficult challenge. I'll fight the boss on normal mode to give myself an advantage. Technically, my friends didn't force me to do hard mode so I'm in the clear. This boss is immune to everything except for critical hits. So I gave some of my cookies crit toppings and also used cream puff and rockstar. Alright, now it's time to take down this boss. Okay, how come this stun lasts for so long? Thanks to my level 1 golden cheese, I was able to beat the boss. Aw, oh, come on! So apparently for that boss fight, all cookies got boosted to level 60. Dang it! I guess this battle doesn't count. No, I'm gonna make it count. So I'm gonna edit this victory screen in my art editor. I'm gonna grab a picture of the level 1 icon, simply paste it on top of the 60, and now I'm able to send this image to my friends. After I sent the photo, my friends were still mad. Hacked. Loser. You invited Hyrule. Go touch some grass. Y'all need some copium. You actually suck balls. Alright, alright. It's about time. My friends won't respect my level 1 golden cheese no matter what. I'm done acting all nice and stuff. It's time to get my revenge. I have been hiding something from y'all. What? What is it, Chero? I photoshopped both of these pictures and you were all too stupid to realize. Ugh, of course you did. You're that scared. <gasps> I can't believe you all fell for it. I hate you. You are all so stupid. You are stupid. Cheater. I can't believe y'all have negative IQ. I photoshopped this photo in the first challenge and you all didn't realize. I'm murdering you. You should have actually paid attention. Just go away. I will absolutely eat you, little blood. In the end, I won not because my cheese was strong, but because y'all are stupid. Rude. Everyone, wait, I forgot to mention. What? Hmm? So I want this to be a wholesome video, so I should probably say something positive. At the end of the day, we should all be friends frolicking in the fields. <laughs> and we should definitely not insult each other because it's mean. <laughs> nah, man, screw that. Okay, I'm gonna post this troll on YouTube now. See you later, losers. What? Wait, no! Make sure to subscribe for more random videos and also cause I'm poor. By the way, we're all still friends after all this, but who cares?